M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are looking at the Elcraft K4 and what a lovely looking radio it has. It looks like it has twin uh, scope, shall we call it, waterfall. You could also have single, it's um, HF six meters. They are actually planning the possibility, uh, well, they're going to make a VHF UHF module. So that's one of the, uh, the first things and you know lots of buttons here to push a few led lights there by the vfo knob frequency and so let's have a look at their overview a direct sampling sti you'll love to use our new k4 harnesses the latest in signal processing while retaining the best aspects of the k3s and p3 resulting user interface makes the technology transparent allowing you to focus on the world 160 to 6. K4 includes dual receiver over 100 clicks to 54 megahertz. Utilizing direct sampling, there's no need for crystal filters in the K4 or K4D model. We'll look at that later for extreme signal environments. High resolution mini pan for each receiver. Our advanced fine tuning aid with its resampled bandwidth. Simple operation and setup. Large color display. Combined with rich and real controls, rich I.O. complement, full remote control for multiple devices. Now I note that it, does, it doesn't it does have Wi-Fi and I, I do not, I haven't seen Bluetooth. So we'll keep looking to see if we can see Bluetooth. But I know there's uh, several connectors on the back. Really we need to have a closer look at the manual to see if we can find... Uh, if it's got Bluetooth, which uh, I think they should have done that. So looking further down, full remote control, Ethernet, PC notebook or tablet is included. That's where you can connect it to your PC and then you effectively can connect to it via your, your, your Wi-Fi maybe, I think. Uh, hybrid architecture. And then you've got the K4D with diversity received, K4HD with dual superhead module for exceptional dynamic range. Upgrade or add-ons. The extensibility applies to software as well. CPU provides unlimited expansion opportunities. That's interesting, so you can upgrade the CPU. Fast signal processing. Parallel hardware pressing of data streams including a dedicated DSP subsystem. The KAT4 ATU option has normally 10 to 1 matching range. It includes three antenna jacks and one of which can be selected as an input for one or both receivers. Internal VHF UHF module. Look at their um, brochure here. Very nice. Let's make it a bit bigger. Just zoom in a bit. So look, you can see Four antenna connectors there, 12 volt out, TX sampling, that's your earthing connector, 12 volt DC in, TX sampling, I'll receive antennas in and out, is that XVTR, HDMI out, 232 amplifier connector, USB, three USBs, Ethernet there. Lining out, all your usual things you expect, CCW paddle, speakers, phones. So yeah, that, that looks what we expect from a, a radio like this. Oh look, that's a snazzy looking VFO knob there. Um, nice, good quality speaker. K4 key spec and features amplifier there speaker which can be driven yeah let's have a look that's your controller VFO very nice has quite a few controls USB A jack so yeah there it is that's the full radio very nice looking radio showing the dual the dual screen now it's showing that all the ATU buttons are there. So is it something that you either have or don't have? Is it, is it something you pay extra for? The module can be removed, I don't know. Audio type scope, signal meter, 
frequencies shown, dual frequencies. Lots of buttons to tinker with. And there's some of your main specs there on the bottom. Modular hybrid architecture. So I think, you know, it's going to be popular. Kit version, internal VHF, UHF module. That's what I find really interesting. I don't think there's a radio in this range and quality that is an all mode one. The nearest thing to it, I would say, is the 991A. And that's, that's not going to be in, in you know... Uh, in this league, I wonder what they cost. Oh, look, 4250 from Walters and Stanton. Let's have a click. Uh, and also, they're mentioning the internal VHF UHF module is planned high resolution mini pan. So, there it is, and it does say it's in stock. And today is the 26th of April 2022. Um, and then, now, oh, look, we've got a nice video there. Uh, to show us it working. So we'll just quickly scan through that, I think. No audio, unfortunately. But it looks nice. Pan, A, B, waterfall. Yeah, it looks, you know, it looks lovely to use. No doubt about it. Walter Stanton's videos are always very good. I've watched them quite often. You've got your sort of scrolling scope there. No sign of Bluetooth. I definitely can't see anything that shows Bluetooth. So thanks to Walter and Stanton. Uh, very nice. <clears throat> Record, frequency input. Notch, NR, noise blanker, preamp, AB, spot, there's a spot one there, reverse, storing the memories, that you've got single receive there, very nice. So yeah, that's their brochure, check it out, let me know what you think, do you think it's worth 4250 do you think that the VHF UHF module is going to be another thousand pound? Is this a five, six grand, five, six thousand pound radio? Um, but we'll do everything in one box. Doesn't look big, big, does it? it looks like a fair size. If it was two thousand pound, I think it will sell like hotcakes. <laughs> uh, but four thousand pounds, quite a stretch, isn't it? Um, I think the most expensive radio I've ever bought was the. Yeah, the ICOM 705, or that I did have the 991A for a while. I just didn't like the scope. I thought it was, it, it wasn't a very nice experience. It was too small. Um, the 705, I love it. And the 7300, I love it. I've still got them. I'm waiting for the Yesu to bring out their SDR scope. Uh, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the FTDX10 screen. I don't like the, the colour and style. There's nothing, nothing wrong with the radio. I think it's a good radio. But the colours and the style, I prefer the icon. I actually prefer this K4. Yeah, the K4. I like the colour and the styling of this radio. So there you go. Thanks for watching my video. Catch you on air. And um, I'm sure there's lots of videos demonstrating this radio already. So 7-3, thanks for watching. All the best. Catch you soon.